Well, Americans, not very optimistic that the level of gun violence will go down anytime soon. Some numbers here. A recent Pew Research poll shows that 62% of Americans believe gun violence will increase in the next five years. Only 7% believe it will decrease. Back to the panel now. Uh, so Americans only think this is going to get worse. Robbie, why? Well, uh, unfortunately, we have a lot of illegal guns out there in the communities. And it's not, you know, the, the mass shootings, the AR-15s, we pay a lot of attention to the really dangerous weapons. But what we know from looking at the statistics is that most of the gun deaths, well, there's a lot of suicide, and it's a lot of one-off handgun incidents with illegal guns anyway. And my question is, before we consider, you know, I'm very reluctant to have new gun laws, because the laws we already have aren't really enforced. If there's no appetite to have police actually confiscate weapons from people who already aren't allowed to have them, people who already have charges against them, people who, you know, filled out the registration improperly, like the president's own son, <laughs> I have to bring that up, um, then what are we doing? Why, why ha we can't have new rules, new laws aren't going to solve this if we're not already doing any enforcement of what we have on the books already. And, there's, and these are not law-abiding citizens who even care about the laws, sure. much less recognize them. You know, I think that there's so much that needs to be done in terms of um, getting away from our staunch ideologies on guns and really starting to look at the science. We need to let the data determine what our policy path is moving forward because they did a lot of studies on why crime, violent crime, decreased in the 90s. There was real significant improvement in terms of whether gun violence was happening, and it didn't. It went way down in the 90s. And so there's a lot we can look back on. And then moving forward, I think this is as much of an inside job for Americans as an outside job. We look at how policies can only legislate what you do, but who we are and what we think about ourselves and our fellow Americans is going to shape how we treat each other moving forward. Janice? Yeah, I think that it continues, not surprisingly, it continues to be one of the most polarizing aspects yeah, yeah. in American yeah. politics. And yeah. if you look at how it breaks down by parties, Democrats and Republicans, they're statistically the same. Uh, one crowd believes that this is good for your safety, and the other crowd believes that this makes you unsafe. So I agree. I think we all kind of agree, but there is no easy answer. What are we? He says no more new laws. You agree with that? No, I think I think it doesn't matter what I think. I think the public agrees that we need stricter laws. How do you enforce them? I think is is what's so tricky. And I thought personally that after Sandy Hook, which happened more than ten years ago, when yeah. when when twenty kids at least were massacred. 28 in total, adults included. I thought that something would happen in this country that would be a little more forward thinking and a lot more strict for gun control. And then we had a pandemic since then where more people bought guns than ever before, right? So I am not sure anybody here can have an answer, but it continues to be a very serious problem. One thing you know, Kelly, from being up on the Hill, no major legislation anytime soon, no matter how you view the issue. No major legislation anytime soon. Well, right? I was going to say, we just saw last summer, though, the bipartisan gun safety bill that they were able to come together and, and pass. So there was some movement, and, and I remember that night it passing and going up to, you know, senators like Chris Murphy, who has been working on this for years, um, and they tried to move the needle a little bit. For him, it's not as far as he wanted it to go. For President Biden at the time, he wanted it to be ban assault weapons. Um, they want to return to that. But like you said, for anything more than that, uh, it's... It's unlikely, especially with what it's like. Our murder now. rate is getting worse here in D.C. We have gangs of teenagers with weapons, doing carjackings, doing other things. We already have, uh, legally, the police could do something about this. There isn't enough um, resources maybe being put to it. Maybe it's a resource question. That's what I have to say. Until we have new laws, like, solve, like, you know, solve this problem first. If you need a new law, fine, but I don't think you do. I think we know what the assault problem weapon, population assault weapons, is. Assault weapons ban? But that's a fraction of the gun crimes. Well, a fraction would be better where, than nothing, right? right? I mean, if that's it, your child, it wouldn't child, be a drop your, in the bucket, though. But it's, if that's your child or your cousin or your friend or your boss or whoever, it's like ninety percent handguns. Many of them already illegal. Last thoughts, Denise. I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, this is an inside job. As long as we don't know who we are and what we feel about people and our lives and our futures, we cannot treat others. It's, the Bible says, "Love your neighbor as you love yourself." We can't legislate that. We only we can only be changed from the inside, and that will determine how we treat each other on the outside. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.